I'm delighted to be here at the Tech UK offices in central London with Charlotte Hales. Charlotte, uh, as chair of the Tech UK Justice and Emergency Services Committee, thank you uh, to you and to Tech UK for inviting us in here. Um, can you explain why it is that uh, we're filming here today? Thanks, Bernard. It's, it's good to see you as ever. So yes, as, as you've mentioned, I chair the Justice and Emergency Services Committee at Tech UK. Um, and I'm one of a number of organisations that have been elected to this committee um, and nominated to be chair earlier this year. And I've actually been part of the committee for over two years now and was on a previous committee in 2022 to the beginning of 24. And the work's really important. So what it does is seek to represent um, private sector companies in the technology industry that work in the justice and emergency services sector. So I'll clarify that that means justice, um, fire and rescue, and policing. So we cover all those organizations. Um, one of the things that we're really passionate about, Bernard, is being supplier agnostic. So using the skills and experience of which there is a huge amount on this committee to try and help policing, justice and fire solve some of the problems, the strategic challenges that, that they might have in order to help them realise their ambitions in the technology space. So as part of that, that can include engaging with executive stakeholders from say National Police Chiefs Council, National Fire Chiefs Council or Justice Digital um, to work collaboratively, whether that be in the form of workshops or problem solving. So we use our skills and experiences as a committee to try and engage with those audiences. And we have recently um, started up our new committee at the beginning of the year and determined three strategic priorities that we are looking at and would like to do so in close consultation with executives from across justice and emergency services. So the three strategic areas which, which your viewers are going to hear more about today are procurement, digital skills and artificial intelligence. So hopefully people will resonate with those subjects. They are really hot topics right now. And each of the leads for those strategic priorities are working closely with a team and engaging with stakeholders from justice and emergency services in order to make a progress in a way that actually means something to, a, to our stakeholder community. The, in my experience, uh, over more years than I care to remember, Tech UK is a brilliant organisation at bringing suppliers uh, in the same room with those uh, that they are looking to supply to uh, in, in order to problem solve before you get as far, for example, as the, uh, the invitation to tender uh, or, or the contract. It's, it's problem solving at the earliest possible stage, understanding each other's mindset uh, if there are to be two sides of this supplier and buyer uh, and and looking to encourage uh, a reasonable collaboration be between those uh, otherwise competitive suppliers is, is that a fair summary yeah no that's a great summary bernard so i think you're right this is about early engagement but it comes so far before procurement because it's about at the point of devising strategy and getting input from experts there's a whole amount of skills and experience and technical developments you know technology is moving at such a fast pace it's really important to tap into that full range of stakeholders and there's a huge number of members of Tech UK and a, a, a greater number even still that are you know interested in the justice and emergency services community um, I think as well as the benefits for those organizations in public sector actually what it's done for me and speaking from my own experience and I'm sure some of the other people I sit on the committee with will support me on this but actually the relationships that I have developed with people in that supplier community to enhance the knowledge that I have um, and be able to bounce ideas off each other actually it's a community in itself um, we're all really, really passionate about bridging that gap between public and private sector. And, and as I say that, leaving our suppliers at the door when we come into these committees, it's about doing what is right for um, the justice and emergency services community, but equally like how we can break down barriers from a supply perspective, problem solve, and 
best work together to realise those ambitions. So it's a whole ecosystem of, of sort of public sector, private sector partnership with, with benefits for all members. So yeah, I, I, I speak really, really highly of the experience that, that I've had personally with Tech UK. So we're going to learn a little bit more about each of those three areas you mentioned. Uh, in this video, we'll learn a little bit more about Tech UK itself, and we'll learn a little bit more about what it is that Tech UK, the Justice and Emergency Services Committee, and Policing Insight and Policing TV are now doing together. For the time being, though, Charlotte, thank you very much. Thanks, So I'm Adrian Lear. I'm the Managing Director of Triad Group PLC. And for my sins, I'm chairing the Procurement Subcommittee of the Justice and Emergency Services Management Committee. I didn't think I'd ever end up chairing a committee on procurement, but here I am. And one of the things that we've really focused on is making it a very positive, constructive kind of approach to procurement. Too often it could be negative and cynical and people moaning about their lot in life. We're trying to make a difference here and we're all driven by improving public safety. So, Adrian, you've, you've got a subcommittee yeah. uh, team. How many in your subcommittee? We're about seven at the moment. Pleasingly, we've had people asked to come and join the committee, which has been a positive sign. And between us, we've come up with three priorities for, for that committee that sits neatly under the overarching aims of the Justice and Emergency Services Management Committee itself. And so if, if there are Tech UK members with an interest in justice and emergency services and in procurement, yeah. Uh, is it fair to say that you'd welcome them getting in touch with you? Absolutely. I mean, what we're trying to do is help industry and also to help the buyers. Uh, together, hopefully, what we're going to do is make a difference for public safety overall. Um, but the three priorities that we're working on at the moment, first of all, we want to demystify procurement for the supplier industry. Um, so getting through that, that, that maze of the procurement frameworks and challenges. Secondly, we want to work with the buying community, our clients, to get them to explain to us where we as a supplier community could be doing a better job. And then finally, a particular area of interest for a number of the committee members, both large and small interestingly, is how can we get SMEs more involved in delivery for public safety, justice and emergency services. So one of the things we want to do there is not just talk about subcontracting, but more imaginative and creative ways of getting SMEs involved in delivery. So if you are watching this uh, on Policing TV, um, maybe not currently a Tech UK member, maybe a buyer in that uh, area rather than a supplier, and with an interest in procurement, uh, they could get in touch with you as well and you would welcome that contact. Yes, part of our remit is to engage with the buying community and individuals and groups within that sector. We want to be having conversations with them. We want to raise the profile of our industry and the individual organisations within it. So I'd encourage people to keep an eye out on what we're doing, get in touch with us and, and we can work together on this. Uh, final question for this section uh, from me, Adrian. It's Tech UK. I emphasise the UK bit. Uh, supposing there are those interested in these matters that are from outside the UK, still interested in their getting in touch? Absolutely. We can learn from everyone and everywhere. In fact, one of the things I do personally is read Policing Insight on a daily basis and see what's happening in the likes of New Zealand and Australia and think, oh, it'd be good to be having a conversation with these people. So I think together we can join the dots. Well, I didn't pay you to say that. I am grateful yeah. Yeah. for that plug for Policing Insight. Um, for the time being, Adrian, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Bernard. Okay. Hi, Bernard. Uh, yeah, so my name's James West, uh, Industry Director at Made Tech. Uh, and my role on the Justice and Emergency Services Management Committee is the Strategic Priority Chair for Artificial Intelligence. And so tell us something about the subcommittee that you lead. Uh, several members? Yeah, so there's uh, 17 of us in total on the, uh, on the committee, so by far uh, one of the bigger committees. Uh, we have three areas of focus on that committee uh, at the moment to help and support the community. Uh, number one is around demystifying uh, artificial intelligence and helping educate uh, the market. Uh, two is about building trustworthy confidence uh, and a roadmap for success in, across that sector. 
Uh, and number three is around building exemplar case studies, which could come from uh, any any sector and equally globally to support uh, solution building. So the global bit, uh, I was talking with Adrian just a little earlier, and I asked about the UK in Tech UK. Actually, if there are insights from overseas, outside the UK, you would be very keen to hear those and people for, for people to make that contact. Yeah, mo- most definitely. I mean, uh, when we look at how artificial intelligence is evolving across the globe, it's evolving at a significant pace. And really what we need to be doing as a community is taking the good bits, the learnings that come from all of those uh, those deployments and solution builds across the country and, and equally the globe uh, and feed those in and help support the community uh, build quicker and faster. Ultimately. So I sort of need to suggest a brand name change to Georgie, who I'm about to speak to, <laughs> to Tech Global <laughs> rather than Tech UK. Maybe, maybe. maybe not just at the moment. Now, what sorts of, of events and similar, what sorts of activity support are you putting in place for your um, te- uh, your justice and emergency services yeah, members? C- certainly. So there's, there's kind of a number of things that we're doing from uh, innovation round tables where we're bringing uh, key industry partners together uh, with techn- te- sorry, tech community partners. Um, we're looking at the user journey and what the best practice might be on that. Uh, through to some events around artificial intelligence and, and what's happening. But the key is with this is, um, is is actually bringing the business need and pain points to life with the technology uh, and trying to help bring the two, the two areas together right to accelerate uh, development. Well, James, very best wishes to you and your subcommittee uh, colleagues in, in delivering on this. I look forward to covering this for Policing TV and potentially Policing Insight over the coming months and beyond. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Scheel, uh, Public Sector Director at Nortel, and it's my pleasure to be the subgroup chair for digital skills uh, within the Tech UK Justice and Emergency Services Management Committee. Uh, to digital skills, one of the three focus areas for the committee on this tenure. And uh, for digital skills, what is, what, what's the breadth of that and what does that mean for us? We're really looking at the broadest definition of digital skills, so technical skills for everybody in the workplace, specifics of digital skills for people in DDAT roles and, 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 and in that profession. And then this kind of wider sense of what does being more digital or what does digital thinking uh, mean for the organization in terms of the way of work, way, ways of working and, uh, and moving to a sort of more agile uh, uh, agile kind of DevOps way of way of thinking about uh, about work in the whole. So within within the program, we've got three focus areas. We want to make sure that we do a really good job of connecting stakeholders in justice and emergency services with the great uh, training and support services that Tech UK members can give them uh, against all three of those uh, aspects of digital uh, digital skills. Uh, the second area is to develop a community of practice and. Uh, uh, of stakeholders in home office, in policing, in justice, and frankly, just connecting those people together uh, so that so that we can act as a, a bit of a, a bit of a join between all of the different initiatives that are going on uh, across justice and emergency services. And then, thirdly, we really want to try and support uh, initiatives to uh, upskill. Uh, prison leavers in, in, in respect of digital skills for for, for, you know, for higher higher sort of skilled uh, opportunities and, and, and development uh, for, for prison leavers. So these are the three uh, focus areas we've identified uh, for the working group. Already starting to have some great conversations with stakeholders. And uh, for my kind of call, call out to anybody watching, either on the supplier side or on the stakeholder side, is if this is a, an area of interest to you, please get in touch with us. We'd, uh, we'd love to engage you and, and, and bring you into the, into the group. Hi, Bernard. Yeah, so, um, hi, everyone. I'm, I'm Georgie Morgan. Um, so I'm head of Justice and Emergency Services at Tech UK. Um, so for those of you that aren't familiar, um, Tech UK is the UK's tech trade association uh, so we're a membership body um, we have over 1100 tech companies um, so startups scale ups SMEs all that sort of your large multinational players um, and we're sort of here as with any standard trade body we're here to help the sector grow so if you are a startup or scale up kind of looking looking to grow um, we are essentially that platform um, that convening body for you to do that um, so I lead our justice and blue light program we have over 20 programs across tech UK um, and these range from 
um, programs across sort of the market public se sector facing programs so defense health and social care local public services uh, we also have a tech and innovation team and um, so a team very much dedicated to working with our members our supplier community um, on sort of some of the new and exciting transformative technologies um, and for me of course working very closely with those teams um, particularly um, in the realm of AI I know you heard from James West uh, earlier on around sort of what does AI and adoption um, AI adoption mean um, and how can it be successfully adopted across sort of policing fire and uh, justice um, and then we also have a policy team as well so we do a lot of that sort of top level kind of lobbying into government taking that tech first approach uh, my role really is to be that kind of convening body between public and private sector um, Charlotte who you heard from earlier has obviously done a fantastic overview uh, ins and outs of kind of what the program is delivering but in short for me it's really to be that kind of neutral platform that body where we can bring policing together with industry as suppliers to sort of interrogate some of those big challenges to digital transformation um, and looking at sort of some of um, what 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 good luck what good looks like some of that sort of best practice um, that we see both in the UK but internationally as well um, so how can we be that sort of sp safe space to enable some of that dialogue to to happen so for me really what's important is kind of reaching out to forces locally regionally nationally and internationally to say we've got a great platform for you to come and engage great team um, working with me um, and we're based sort of centrally so we want to bring suppliers together and we want to bring policing into the conversation so you've heard today from Adrian Lear, who is leading on our strategic priority relating to procurement, and also from James West, who's leading on AI, and John Cheel, who's leading on digital skills. I just wanted to finish with a call out really to our stakeholder community, and particularly because it's Policing Insight, Policing TV, I'm expecting that this will hopefully be a, a policing stakeholder audience. So for um, stakeholders, whether it's National Police Chiefs Council, or anybody who is involved in digital data in technology, in policing, it could be the Home Office, Police Digital Service or individual forces or collaborations across regions, please get in touch with us because this is your best opportunity to engage with the supplier community. Uh, as I mentioned at the, at the start of this, we represent, we're a committee of 28 suppliers, all elected, representing over 500 UK technology suppliers who are working with justice and emergency services. So yeah, we, we're really passionate about realizing or helping you to realize your digital data technology ambitions. You know, for those who don't know me, I'm a former senior police officer and now I've been in private sector for nearly three years and I'm kind of making it my mission to bridge that gap between public and private sector and I do so through the support of this committee, fantastic group of individuals, all really passionate who bring a lot of experience and behind us we have our companies as well and there's also the wider Tech UK membership. So just please bear it in mind as an opportunity to engage and use the minds and hearts to help solve your problems in policing.